welcome to today's video. I'm really excited because tomorrow Brandon and I are going on our anniversary trip, our first wedding anniversary. I cannot believe it. This year flew by, but at the same time, I feel like I've been married forever. It's very strange, but we're so excited to be traveling to Jamaica this weekend. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take ya. Every time I say Jamaica, I have to sing that song. I just have to. But anyways, I'm so excited. Today, I have been working so hard trying to just get everything prepared, get all my work done get all my ducks in a row and blah, blah, blah. But the time has finally come for me to pack. So I thought it'd be fun to take y'all along for the packing adventure and share my tips. And it's really funny to be packing for like a beach vacation in the winter because I'm like in cozy mode. So it's kind of hard to get in the mindset of hot weather. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. But since our wedding anniversary is February 2nd, Every year when we celebrate our anniversary, we probably will go to the Caribbean because lots of other places in the world are really cold. So it's gonna be our thing, but we're really excited to go to Jamaica. We've never been there before. It's kind of crazy though, because yesterday they just had our uh, earthquake. Um, it was 80 miles off the coast of Jamaica. And I called today and I've done like research and watched the news and thank God for everyone in Jamaica and in the Caribbean and Cuba. It was in the middle of Cuba and Jamaica. Thank God everyone appears to be okay. There weren't any casualties, at least reported from when I first checked. So thank goodness everyone's safe, it seems, hopefully. Um, and we're still able to go, which is amazing. But above all, thankfully, everyone is safe from the earthquake. They said there can be aftershocks, which I believe, I am not familiar with earthquakes. I've never experienced one before. Um, but I believe that's just like a little baby earthquake after the real big earthquake. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, but thankfully I feel good and like, I don't feel worried about it at all. So that's good. And I'm just happy everyone's safe and I'm happy that we get to go on our trip. So it's only three nights, so I don't need to pack a crazy amount of stuff. I am going to take a carry-on and Brandon's going to take a carry-on too, which usually he checks a bag such a diva but I always stuff like a million things in his checked bag but I will need to be more strategic because the thing that can really get you are the toiletries I did run to Target yesterday to grab some travel size toiletries and sunscreen and whatnot but I'm worried I didn't get enough or like I forgot and I only got one reusable container that we can fill with whatever we need but here we go let's get packing if you've watched my packing videos before, you know that one of the very first things I do is check the weather for when we go on our trips. So we'll be in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and we'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then a little bit of Sunday. And once again, praise God, the weather looks really nice. We have highs of 85, 83, and then lows of 71, 72, and 75. So pretty warm but not like in the 90s so I will bring some light jackets because my cold tolerance is incredibly low so <laughs> always need to be prepared with a jacket also this is super random but whenever we are about to go on a trip I make it my mission to try and clear out our fridge we're only gonna be gone for three nights but I do I hate wasting food so I try to like make sure we eat everything we have so the we're doing really good I think the the only thing I think the oatmeal will be fine for when we get back and then the eggs will be fine so tomorrow we're gonna have eggs for breakfast because our flight isn't till 10 so I think we need to leave around 7 um, but we need to finish all of these with our eggs in breakfast like all these cut up veggies and then my lemons I need to have some lemon tea or lemon water later um, and then the hummus will be fine the spinach oh yeah we need to eat that tonight looks like we're gonna have a big old salad and then the carrots will be fine we'll probably have some tonight but they'll be totally fine this corn we need to eat I don't know what I want to I mean I could put it in the salad I guess I don't know but I just wanted to share that that's like a tip if you hate wasting food like I do just make it your mission it's kind of like a fun challenge to try to finish all the food in your fridge before you leave Okay, 
Okay, my second order of business is to lay out all the things that I know I wanna take or just some obvious things like, okay, we're going to Jamaica, I'm gonna need my swimsuits. So I'm taking four, which is a little excessive for three nights. Actually, that's kind of perfect because the worst thing is wearing a wet bathing suit, like if you change and then you have to put back the wet bathing suit. So that's really not the worst thing. I'm being dramatic, but <laughs> since I have four bathing suits, I figured I would take them all. So I have this nude bikini from Forever 21 that I've had for a while. Then I have this really cute pink and white checkered high-waisted one from Albion Fit. And then I have this really, really sweet um, pink one piece from Revolve. I just got it actually and it is so soft, such good quality. I'm probably going to wear this one first because I'm so stinking excited. And then I also grabbed this one from Revolve. It's also a one piece. It's from Tula Rosa, but again, I got it from Revolve and it has these sweet little flowers. So those are the suits I'm taking. And then I just put in some undies and I definitely want to take these wedges from Lulu's for some of my fancier dresses for when we go out to dinner. And I have this Princess Polly dress that I think would look really cute with those shoes and it seems very like beachy. It's like a cute midi dress. And then over here, I pulled out the ironing board because I have this really cute jumpsuit from Revolve, but I need to iron it clearly. And I also need to hem it because it's super long on me. So I have this Stitch Witchery. Um, I haven't used this in a while and I'm pretty sure the first time I used it, I actually just used my hair straightener <laughs> instead of an actual iron, which you're supposed to do. So I'm gonna do it the right way this time and hopefully it'll work well. And then over here, I have some fancier dresses because it is our anniversary after all, so I definitely wanna dress up one night. I have, this one isn't fancy. This is just from Boohoo. It's a jumpsuit that I wanna take. It's super comfy. Go. And then this one is so pretty. It's from Lulu's and it's just like a really beautiful gown. And then I also have this one from David's Bridal, and I'm definitely gonna take that one, but I don't know if I should also take this one too, or if that's really excessive. I'm not sure. this new toiletry bag from West Elm I think <laughs> kind of random but yeah I bought it from there and I love it because I can hang it up on a hook in the bathroom when we travel and it's easy to kind of see everything and I'm really surprised that I was able to fit all my makeup in here I consolidated my actual makeup bag and just like picked out what I think I'll actually need I don't think I'll even wear makeup every day but when we go out to dinner and stuff it's nice to just have like my makeup essentials which always adds up with all the brushes and whatnot but oh well <laughs> so I'm glad at that fit and then here I just have like some travel size toiletries I have my mouthwash my lotion which is just from a Disney hotel it's so nice to have that travel size and then I have my purity face wash in travel size and then my drunk elephant jelly cleanser and then my Mario Badisco skincare. It's like the facial spray, really refreshing. And then my razor, which is an essential when I'm wearing a bikini. Ugh, I want laser hair removal so, so bad. If you've gotten laser hair removal, please tell me if you liked it and if you think it's worth it and blah, 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 blah. I definitely wanna start saving up for it and budgeting for it because I wanna make that happen. Like I hate shaving I really and I know everyone like doesn't enjoy shaving but like I really don't enjoy it so yeah I got my razor then I got some perfume and then is there anything else down here oh yeah hairspray again for when we go out like on our anniversary dinner I'm gonna hold everything in place especially in the Caribbean where it's windy and it's humid and then I have my native deodorant which I actually just got yesterday I have been using this one from Walmart but it just has not been doing the trick I have to reapply it 
which I kind of have to reapply this one too, but I really love the smell of it, so I'm pretty happy with it. And it's very tropical <laughs> with the coconut. And then I just have this, um, this makeup remover because whenever I wear mascara, my Purity Face Wash, it's supposed to take off all your makeup, but I feel like the mascara is a little tricky. So I'm taking this as well. And then finally, my travel size shaving cream. Also, another thing I really like to do before I go on like a tropical vacation at the beach or a cruise is apply self-tanner because I absolutely love being tan. I truly, truly do, but I don't like to damage my skin. And unfortunately, too much vitamin D can damage your skin. So I like to apply my tan ahead of time. And I use this Loving Tan Mousse. And I really like it. I actually have a few different products that I've used in the past. I have St. Tropez and I have Isle of Paradise actually, which this is one. I love this for my face because I can just use it with my moisturizer. So it's really natural looking. Um, but this is the one I'm gonna do tonight after I shower and work out or work out and shower rather, but yeah, I'm gonna do that before, but I wanted to share that because I really am just going to apply a lot of sunscreen and just be tan with my self tanner instead of actually getting tan. Of course, I'll get a little tan probably because we will be out in the sun pretty much all day, but I really, really wanna focus on protecting my skin. Okay, I'm almost done packing, honestly. The suitcase is getting full, and when you add the toiletry bag, it really fills up. But I really need to tackle this whole ordeal over here with my hemming. Um, I'm kind of not excited for it, but I hope it's easy and goes well. I honestly never use an iron. I'm more nervous just to use the iron. I usually just use a steamer, so I'm a little rusty with my iron work. <laughs> but I'm gonna turn on some Gilmore Girls to help make it more enjoyable and then we'll pretty much be done. When I think about yesterday My, oh my My, oh my A kiss and so I did Here's the situation, looking good so far. Unfortunately, the little stitch witchery or whatever it's called to do a little DIY hem did not work on this jumpsuit. I'm thinking because it's 100% linen, it just didn't take it. So yeah, I think it'll be okay though with my wedges. I think I can make it work. I can stand on my tippy toes. <laughs> it'll be totally fine. I don't really care if the bottom gets a little dirty. It's not a huge deal. So I have my little accessories too. I'm not taking a whole bunch, just some small gold hoops and just my everyday rings and stuff, which I just took off because I was washing dishes. And then I also have these really cute sunglasses from Princess Polly that I will take. And so now I want to start packing my carry-on. Okay, I just did a little workout with Brandon and he's in the shower now and I'm gonna take a shower and exfoliate and do my self tanner and shave after he gets out. But I am wrapping up the video here. I know it looks like a hot mess, but pretty much all packed. Also, I wanted to show you this iPhone tripod that I got off Amazon. It fits perfectly in my suitcase and I've actually been taking all of my like Instagram photos and whatnot um, on my iPhone so it's really nice because this comes with a remote so it's super super easy effortless and lightweight and I also got a little snack for us we will be staying at a all-inclusive resort so we didn't go too crazy on the snacks because they'll have tons of food and I have my airport outfit laid out I need to make it look a little neater but feeling good thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me as I pack we will be doing a little vlog and taking lots of photos while we're on our trip, so be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I post daily on there, at least in my stories. I don't always post like actual photos, but I have a lot of fun on there, so feel free to join me if you haven't already, but I love you guys so much and can't wait to see you soon. Bye. I feel unbreakable.